Hey guys, really excited to show you our Houston, Texas warehouse. Had this warehouse for about six months now from when we moved from Los Angeles. This place has been such a good move for Better Body. Um, we have FedEx come every day here in Houston, Texas as well. Most of our orders do go on a pallet. Basically the US has like a way better LTL network, less than a truckload. An order's gonna go on a pallet to the customer, buy out like a semi truck instead of, you know, the small courier trucks. But yeah, this is the warehouse. It's super cool. It's about 10,000 square feet in here. Lower ceilings, but well, we for sure got like a really good deal on the place. Two full-time guys. My main guy's name is Quinton. Hey, yeah, man, you can't beat Texas. This is way better weather than Vancouver. And we try to come here a few weeks a month, just kind of rotate, help the team out here, make sure they have questions, concerns answered, because it's really good when your boots are on the ground for us just trying to do video calls and figuring out everything through there. It gets really tricky. How you doing, man? What's up, YouTube? We have a lot of empty office space in here it's kind of scary in here but yeah a lot of empty space big time essentials this is a packed order and then quinn in here is about to load all the pallets in with roadrunner one of our couriers who's just waiting out here don't show you two my shoes really oh don't look at those oh shit yeah. <laughs> where are the nice shoes when you're out and about in the warehouse this is what we're eating in texas these days it's a bag of lettuce tomatoes and the worst chicken you've ever tried. Yo, why is that chicken bad, kid? What'd you do to it? Threw it in the pan with some soy sauce and we like to barbecue them, but today I kind of thought I'd like steam them or something, but yeah, it just wasn't good. That shit was salty, but Coop's the cook. I'm when we're in Texas, good. Coop cooks, I clean, so, you know. I'm good, but you can't always win. We're trying the whole keto diet thing to lose some weight because we're kind of both fat right now. So. I like to say keto, but it is keto. Keto, keto. I, what do you guys call it? Keto or keto? Anyways. It's a 5 out of 10. Diet wise, it's a 10 out of 10 food. So, you know, for whatever it's worth. We pal jack in, by the way, because we uh, happened to break the other one in uh, the double container load. What day do we have that double container load? Last week? Yeah, last. Oh my God. We don't really know what last day it is Wednesday, around here. Last yeah, Thursday. last Wednesday was just uh, a crazy day. Two containers came in and everything went wrong. I know. All done. Woo! We got Quentin loading up the first order here with Roadrunner. This is the apartment in Houston. Bathroom, bed, little desk set up here, TV, couch, kitchen with Chef Coop. What up? This is really cool. Our view is pretty sick. Pool down there. We got a park called Herman Park next door. We work out meals going down. All right, what are we cooking? Turkey bacon. Just turkey bacon? Just turkey bacon. Nice. 7.30, so it's getting home from the warehouse. And we are eating and ahead of the gym. All right, so we have the second victim here. First one did not make it. We're hopeful that the DJI Mini 2, number two, will. We're manifesting it, Coop. We're not, not today. gonna crash the drone. Maybe today. <laughs> Maybe. All right, we got the last container of the trip here. Hey, Pretty exciting. Over, Let's go, we got two hours. Come on, baby. Oh, I thought I had it there. Oh. <laughs> you want the muscles in, bro? Yeah, here, show yeah. us how it's done. Yeah. Coop, you wouldn't even let me do it, man. No, we got the big started. muscles in. No, this guy can't do it. There you go, see? Oh, fucking God. In a second. He knows how to do it. Hey, <laughs> man, really, man. Practice makes Let's perfect. Go. done i'm over here on the forklift unloading them and then also organizing all the stuff in the warehouse so when it comes in the actual warehouse here what i'm doing is I'm actually organizing it and putting it in certain places so it's easy to find when we're picking products and all that stuff because if you unload then organize at the same time that's the best thing you can do because we have all our new squat racks here new floor tiles benches everything's put away really nicely we used to just unload it all then organize later and again it was like two jobs so if we have enough people now we can unload while someone organizes and it just saves us a lot of time we got the end of the container right there finally it's really good when you see the back wall there hey you. oh yeah give um, you some hope the whole container has been unloaded four o'clock ish we got here at 
8 a.m. I think so long day on a Saturday now we're just putting all the kind of new products together that we got in the container that are either like updated or just a total new product like this squat rack here so looking forward to see how that turned out or how it will turn out I should say we're gonna head to Home Depot and get a couple more things too so we can build this a lot faster drill socket set just a couple more things we're missing here but we're also ordered a bunch of stuff to have a little photo studio here as well so we can shoot all the new product I'm so excited about that that's gonna look good Build day, let's fucking go. We got the 80 and the 90 inch. The 80 and the 90 inch are the big yes, daddies. Sir. We haven't had the 80 before, so we're gonna open them up and see what they look like. Let's yeah. fucking go. Woo. Only 10, 15 more to go. Okay, guys, so me and Cooper spent a ton of time this weekend doing a ton of stuff for Better Body. One, we had the 40 foot container that came in yesterday. Show you guys all the stuff that came in. Some behind those boxes over there, a whole bunch of new products all around here, new packaging. Everything is actually taped and strapped, so this makes it have a better chance of getting to our customers without getting wrecked, broken, blown apart, stuff like that. And then yeah. also, carriers don't charge us extra money. True that. Our new play rack, which had a couple issues, so we're figuring that out, but much bigger, much beefier, holds a lot more weight. Our incline rack, much beefier as well, has the plate storage on the back. It's kind of like a good starting squat rack, and it's super sturdy and agile, like you can really just do whatever and it's not really gonna go anywhere so i don't know it's like that thing's not fucking moving this new product cable stack super nice enough said that looks like the hardest thing to build it wasn't bad because we started yesterday new premium bench new cushions new black knob black on black everything and then a new version of our squat racks with optional plate sword as well we have these lovely cucumber shaped notches curtis would like these and then if you have troubles with maybe a lower ceiling this is a 80 inches tall it's gonna be good if you have, don't really have ceiling problems you know 90 inches yeah we're just really excited to get these out to everyone so we're gonna shoot all these before we head back to canada so we can get them on the site and get them for sale and now we're gonna take a workout at alpha land because i don't know we're exhausted but you gotta get it in Can't miss those you gotta push let's go <laughs> uh motivational also these are pretty good Coop picked them up the ghost sour warheads warheads sour warheads the green apple one really good i wouldn't like daily drive this drink by any means but uh definitely recommend trying it out All right, so we are shooting all of the new products today before we head home to Vancouver tomorrow. We have this little like makeshift studio, probably costed us 300 bucks US to fully set up. Basically like a sheet from a camera store. All the whole like rack to hold the sheet is from Amazon, 150 bucks. And these lights for like 200 bucks. And yeah, now we're gonna shoot everything here. So we don't have to build it and shoot it in Canada. It's also about 30 days behind in Canada. So we will get them on the website and do everything much faster than having to actually wait for it to ship to Canada, build it there because we have a studio there. So we're taking the kind of hard choice to get it all done now so we can start selling in the US much faster. What are we doing in the little micro studio? What, it's 1 a.m. right now and we're checking the new rack out, making sure it's up to par, building it, making some instructions right now. Well, we have to be at the airport at 4 a.m. but we gotta get shit done, so that's what we're doing. Just like that, eh? Yeah. Gotta get shit done, so that's what we're doing, bud. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of the Houston trip. Cooper and I were here for about three weeks. It's been a long night. It's 1.30 in the morning. We had a big couple weeks. We had three containers come in while we were here. One came in on Saturday, so we've been busy all weekend. So today, building the product, shooting the product, doing instructions for the product, and just making sure that everything checked out. We found a couple things that we got our supplier to take a look at to make sure that we can kind of avoid those common mistakes in the future. This stuff obviously isn't for everyone. We're a startup. We're approaching our three year birthday and it, it's a lot. It's a lot for everyone to handle and I'm grateful for everyone, especially Cooper, to be here with us on this journey of Better Body. We have our flight in a few hours, so we're not gonna sleep tonight. Just so we got everything done so we can go back to Vancouver the right way. The I'm man's all, exhausted. I'm all tired over here. Now it's been a late night. Just getting the last products built, making sure they're all right and up to standard a few notes for our suppliers to make sure they're better you can never have a perfect product every time there's something like a 
fuck, I should have done this. I should have packed it in bubble wrap instead of plastic. There's so many different things. And then every change you make, it takes like four months to come to fruition. So we're getting better every time, every time we get a new product. Really exciting things happening right now. So yeah, thanks for tuning in guys. That's all I got. Yeah, nice scoop. Armed away. There it is. That's a wrap. Goodbye. Nice hat, bugger. And I'm more handsome. Thanks for playing. <laughs> no, he's gobbled his money. Let's go. Well, that's how we do it with 46. We have to Let's say go. Here, so. <laughs> um, this works. Put your money in these things. Yeah, yeah. I Double your money in the Nina. Okay, what's this one? <laughs> <laughs>